Hi there, thank you for being here with me today. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss or I'm going to share with you nine prompts which your audience or your clients can ask themselves before they say yes or no to a request. So this is incredibly helpful if your audience has people-pleasing tendencies or if they are recovering people-pleasers because as you know, people who are in this state they can sometimes get confused whether they should say yes or no to a request. And sometimes they can feel confused and they are not sure whether they are setting healthy boundaries or if they are being selfish. So these nine prompts are incredibly helpful for them. And you can share these prompts with them in your Instagram reels, in your Instagram captions, or wherever you can repurpose content from. Maybe even Facebook, on your Facebook page, on your LinkedIn page, whatever it is. <laughs> All right. So I'm sharing this promise with you and let me tell you a bit of a background story of why I created this content in the first place. So I created the Overcome, a done for you Overcome People Pleasing Masterclass where which you can share with your audience, which you can conduct, you can straight away conduct a masterclass straight away with the content that I created for you and sell it to, to your audience. And the reason why I created this in the first place was because I I noticed that I observed that this situation is very, it's quite common around me. I've seen people putting themselves in risky situations because, because they are afraid of hurting someone else's feelings. I've also seen people who do really awkward things, really paranoid, take really paranoid options because they are so afraid of hurting someone else when in reality, the other party does not really care about their feelings at all. Or sometimes the other party is not, I mean, they sometimes have really low self-worth. These uh, people who have these people-pleasing tendencies have really low self-worth. They, they assume that someone else is hurt or someone else is angry when, re when in reality they are not. So I see all these things happening around me for years. I've observed this happening and I've decided that this pattern has got to stop. <laughs> so that's why I created this done for you overcome people pleasing masterclass so I hope that you can coach your clients to set some to set healthy and clear boundaries and to live a more empowered life and live a more authentic life so anyway today I'm going to share with you nine prompts to help them to start setting boundaries and one thing you realize is that when your clients have had weak boundaries for too long when you ask them to set boundaries suddenly it's is going to cause some confusion and maybe even cause some anxiety on their part. And some thoughts which may uh, cross their minds are, how do I even start? Well, won't I be seen as a bad person, quote unquote bad person? And how would I know if I'm setting healthy boundaries or being selfish? And this last question is something which many people pleases battle the most. So... Sometimes your audience may suspect that they have these people-pleasing issues, but they are not sure how to start setting boundaries without being seen, being seen as a cold-hearted, selfish person, you know? So first thing first, if your clients are torn as to whether they should say yes or no to a request that's being thrown at them by a colleague or by a loved one or whoever, they can use these nine prompts to point them to the right answer. So if they're confused, they can ask themselves these nine questions and decide whether they should say yes or no to this particular request. So prompt number one, do I have the time to do this? Prompt number two, what will I have to give up to do this? Number three, will I feel pressured to get this done? Number four, will I be upset with myself if I say yes to this request? Number five, will I resent the person asking if I say yes? Number six, will I feel duped or coerced? Number seven, why am I agreeing to this request? What do I regain? Sorry, what do I gain from saying yes? And what do I lose if I say yes? Number eight, how will I feel as I'm doing this task if I say yes to it? Will I feel resentful? Number nine, if I am a fully, a fully confident version of myself, will I still say yes or no to this request? 
So with these nine prompts, what you can do is you can create a quick video, share the nine prompts in your Instagram Reels or in your Instagram captions. And at the same time, I have a free coaching tool for you. You can download this free Am I a People Pleaser test from a link. I will drop the link in my show notes or in my description, wherever you're catching me from. And you can use that quiz people pleasing quiz as a lead magnet as a free lead, free lead magnet to grow your audience grow your mailing list and all that and this free quiz is brandable in canva so you can write your include your own business name or change the images if you want to to make it more unique to your needs and your clients needs okay so that's all i have for today's episode and thank you for being with me thank you for sharing Thank you for joining me here today. That's all. All right. See you in my next episode. Bye.